Welcome back in the Midnight Mirage. So we got the brother SNS Houdini, Red State Houdini. And we want to talk about selling to your independence, which basically is the philosophy and mindset of the entrepreneur. A lot of people say that they want to own their own business, work for themselves, create a um, legacy, create generational wealth. But living in this corporate system of Babylon, you have to live outside the walls and be able to create your own institutions. A lot of that involves networking, understanding uh, taxes and accounting, understanding your, your craft, your field, um, regulations, business licenses, etc. But what we want to do right here is, is get the brother's understanding and philosophy on business. Okay, well, um, I didn't really get to explain more on my on Scorpio and Tibet Universe channel. But I, also, I mean, just basically, if you go to that channel, it's more like going to NBC. Like, it's different programs you can get on there. You can get the game reviews, the TV show movie reviews. But I also have a business sector on there where I, um, basically it's called the Selling to Your Independence Playlist. And in that sector, I kind of show, like, all of the different things I've done probably over the last almost 10 years now. Like, in regards to my own personal life outside of YouTube and things I've done to build my own revenue stream. And um, as far as like the way business works, you know, nowadays you kind of have to have like more than one thing going on. So you can't just rely specifically on like one talent or one craft that you have, or even one marketing idea that you have, or one, one um, let's say partnership that you might have. Like you kind of have to know how to have other skills that, that, that could diversify in other markets. Cause that's really where revenue is kind of being generated nowadays. So. For instance, like with my thing, um, you know, I, I mean, I really plan on trying to also create like a documentary showing people like who really are coming from absolutely nothing. Like you literally could be in a situation right now with no money in your pocket, but I can show you how to build a business that will actually be, be successful based on what I did at that time, you know, when I didn't really have that much because I still have like footage, you know, from years ago, you know, when I was starting my cleaning business and just the different things that all um, that I, I experienced with that and all. Um, now, I, that honestly would be like the first business that I would be able to show people that you could do this with absolutely nothing and be able to generate wealth off of this and um, and be able to even like get out of your um, whatever financial situation or burden you have. But of course, it requires a lot of sacrifice. It requires, you know, you, you know how to manage expenses and manage your earnings and everything. And it also requires you knowing how to step outside your comfort zone and be willing to try more things in business so that you can learn more about it. And um, in, in my, my Scorpio and Severe Universe, all um, selling to your independence, like that's, that playlist basically shows that. And I have like videos on there so far where I talk about different concepts and ideas I noticed in business, different little experiences um, that I had, like, you know, kind of like why, why wealth isn't really distributed, you know, especially in my, like, you know, black people. So I kind of explain more more about that, um, just more so how to even become more independent and, and shy away from a job if that's something you know you're looking to try to get out of but that playlist basically will explain all of that okay good good we appreciate that so what are some of the um experiences and trials and tribulations you've had while you were selling to your independence well i mean um you know in the beginning a lot of it was just trying to figure out how to find the right situation where you can trust the person was going to be doing good business because when you are selling to your independence, you're not really working with a lot of corporations in the beginning. You're probably going to be working with a lot of independent contractors. So, uh, you know, that's probably people calling me. You know, I saw y'all saw it on the first video, you know, because, you know, all day, you know, you might be getting calls from different people that might need you at that moment. So I think one of the main things is being prepared for the situation so that when it comes, you know, you, you, you know, you can attack and then you'll have something from that point forward. Like for instance, when uh, when I started, I met this woman that was from, uh, she was from Tampa and she had a cleaning business, but basically I didn't really want to clean like people's houses and anything like that. But she had the opportunity where I could just go and vacant properties and be able to clean them. And if you go on my channel on that playlist, I showed like basically what I, what I was doing during that time and even how to even clean those properties. Cause you know, it's not the same as if you at home cleaning. It's a certain structure and you know and format that it has with it. So in the beginning, I was just trying to find somebody that, that I could trust with that, and then also that knowing when when to leave the job and knowing when it was going to be able to replace my own personal income. And, you know, I, I graduated from that to you know being in the situation where I have it, but now I need someone else to do it for me. So finding out how to get people to even trust you at that point. So I, I, those are the main things that all I, I think I've had to just learn from the whole thing was just building a trust factor with. First, the people I had to deal with, and then the people that's going to be dealing with me. 
So tell us a little bit about selling to your independence when it comes to so-called black Americans and some of the challenges that you see them have and, you know, kind of correlate, correlate that to, you know, group, group success is much better than individual success. Yeah, well, you know, just kind of go back to what I was saying, like the trust factor thing. I mean, you know, a lot of black people don't really trust each other that well. And um, a, lot, a lot of people that might have a successful business, they might end up trying to hoard all the money for themselves and not want to distribute it among anyone else. So, you know, you just have those issues. And um, like I said before, you kind of uh, have to have things going on outside of whatever that thing is so that you're not just sitting around relying on whatever that one thing is. You can have other forms of income that's coming in. So income thing is a problem with whatever your personal life is and you can't manage your expenses that much then you got to have more income coming in so you got to know how to have more skill sets and you got to know how to go into other markets and be more valuable in those markets so that's just what it's going to require so again like you know you could be somebody that works within a group but if you feel like your expenses are overweighting you that much you got to have more skill sets right and that's just what all what i think it requires for a lot of people that's doing they all they service can't just rely completely on that you gotta you know you gotta go outside those realms like i said you gotta go outside your business comfort zone and that way you'll start to see other ways you can generate income right so what's the last thing you want to lead the people when it comes to you know those out here that may be young or maybe a little bit older and they're now first you know have having these ideas of wanting to start their own business but just may be a little hesitant of um not knowing like how it may work for them and maybe some of them you know they may leave their job but what kind of motivation and inspiration would you give those people um number one thing i would say is that um if, if you completely don't have anything else outside of that job you might have to kind of you know get a little dirty like you know it might be certain little things out there jobs um, that you might look look kind of have your nose upon especially if you come from like a corporate setting you might have to even pick up and start doing that again you know like i said you know, doing construction work or doing janitorial work or something like that just to make sure that the income is flowing in because the most important thing is that you know the income has to come in that's the only way that things are going to be able to be you know to happen and be taken care of so you have to be again you have to be willing to you know go outside that business comfort zone if you're at a point right now where you know you might have a a successful you know online business or whatever it is that it might be that you're doing and it might take a while for the money to come in but you're not working a job like I said, you might want to, might have to go wash some dishes, or you might have to go, you know, clean a, 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 a mall or something like that. Like you know, you just gonna have to go outside your comfort zone. Right. So if that is an issue that you have, and then I, I would suggest that. But if that's not an issue, and it's just more so about the motivation, is you know, to keep doing the business. Number one thing is you know, you just have to kind of see, you have to envision every day what you want the business to do for you, within like a short checkpoint term. Like you have to kind of see, okay, well, don't worry about five years from now. At least try to see where you want to be in, in the next three months from doing it. And then, you know, from there, okay, what well, I want to look look and be like, you know, by the end of this year. And then from there, okay, a year from now. So you have to just set checkpoints among like where you want to see yourself and try to work towards that. And that way that'll give you a little bit more motivation every every day that you want towards whatever your success is. And there you have it. The boy Red Stick Houdini, we out. <laughs>